Hi, this is Larry. The topic today is data modeling. We all understand what data is. We're going to take a little bit more understanding what modeling is and how does it relate to database design. So what is a model? You're probably thinking in your head right now that people make models of things before they build them, such as like automakers make clay models of things, architects take little cardboard and pieces of wood to make things, there may be models of things you maybe made as a kid, of different things you wanted to build, such as like airplanes or cars. Well, models can be about anything. Simply matter of fact is that models are nothing more than a illustration of some sort of what it's supposed to look like, something it's supposed to look like. For example, a blueprint is a model a model of a house and how it will be put together and how it's designed. Very simple way of taking an architectural drawing and creating a blueprint will give you more information about that. So a blueprint, uh, it represents a model. And you can create a blueprint of the data required for the system. You can model that. So basically what we're talking about is a model with database basis it is a graphic representation of things or objects that are important to the business. It provides a map of those things or the objects that interrelate, interrelate with each other. We want to know what data needs to be stored and the data on how it all associates with each other. Those are the things that we want to know. And for us to be able to say it, we need to have other people understand it. And that's why we have a model. And we also then need to be able to construct some, something from that, just like a blueprint, that we'd be able to actually utilize on a regular basis. So think of a data modeling is about being able to create a blueprint of the data required for the system that we could be able to use. And this model can be graphical with diagrams, or it can actually just use words in a formatted manner. There are two types of modeling data modeling. There are logical and there's physical. So what is logical data modeling? Well basically it's the understanding to, to discover, understand, define, and basically capture the informational structures, rules, and relationships of a business. Taking the requirements of the business and be able to put them in a manner that we're going to be able to see it as data and how it all relates to each other. For example, this is an example of a data model. There is a representing different types of entities. And if you can see here, it almost looks like it's a, a data model for ordering something. You would have a sales rep that would talk with a customer, they would have an order, they would have a, a product that's purchased, and the ord line is all just the lines on the order itself. And if you can see from this, you can see the sales rep is associated with the customer, the customer is associated with the order, and the order is associated with the product through something called the order line, all the items on there. You can see very simply that this is a graphical representation of the entities and their associations with each other. So what is physical data modeling then? We can take that model that we have logically and we can actually put together a physical database for this, a design for it designed for a specific target database platform based on the logical data model. Example here, this is SQL to create a table. What's the name of the table? Book. And what are the entities? Book code, there's, and it's a char, there's a title of the book, there's a publisher code, and there's also the type of book it is, there's a price, and there's also paperback. Noticing then also we could declare what type of data types and how big some of those data types are, take up space in each of the different uh, attributes. So we took what was in the logical model and for each entity in the logical model, we create a table. So what's the difference and what, what, what's, what's the strengths and weaknesses of both of these? Well, the logical data model is conceptual. Keep that in mind, it's conceptual. It doesn't really have any implementation directly from it. 
It has the goal of capturing and expressing the business rules. Remember we said in another video that the primary key of a, a database design is to make sure that we're meeting the requirements of the business. It does also make sure that the database is independent, meaning that the database is independent upon applications or anything else. Applications will use the data, but the data can support itself all by itself. You take that logical model, then you apply it to the physical data model. And the physical data model is based physically implemented as a database. This is where you would have the SQL in place to create tables, etc., and how it will actually be put into place. It comprehends a specific target database. There's different database um, systems, da database management systems, such as Oracle or SQL Server, that each are a flavor of ANSI SQL, but they each have their own little things, the way they like to say things. Most of it's similar, but there are some differences. So basically understand that a physical data model from the logical data model should represent and be targeted at a specific database management system. But keep this in mind. You could go around and just create a physical data model, but it may or may not implement all the business rules of the logical data model unless you actually look at the logical data model and do that step first. Key here is understand is that you need a logical data model before you build a physical model.